The Yankees third baseman told Sports Illustrated that he wants to be a role model. Quote, I want to be a role model. I have two daughters at home and I'm sensitive to that. And above all, I want to be a role model. Continue to be a role model, especially to my girls. So all the noise sometimes gets on my nerves, but that's it. I can't let it get any further than that. I have a job to do. A-Rod wants to be a role model. So listen, if that's what he wants to do, how should he handle Major League Baseball's investigation into his alleged involvement, Stephen A., with Biogenesis? You know something? That depends on the level of guilt. I think that he should fight a lifetime ban come hella high water. Uh, but if indeed he has used performance-enhancing drugs uh, for the sake of the game, uh, for the sake of what little reputation he'll have left. Um, I think that he should be an anti-Ryan Braun. He shouldn't hide like a wuss and disappear, uh, planning on returning uh, uh, next season to collect the rest of the money that he hoodwinked the Milwaukee Brewers into giving him a couple of years ago. I think A-Rod should stand up. He should accept the suspension, assuming he's guilty. He should accept a suspension, but one that will allow him to come back to the game and try to make amends. But he should still step up and accept the suspension nevertheless and be very, very open about uh, what he did wrong and, and incredibly contrite and apologetic. It's really that simple. If you're going to bring up your two daughters and talk about how you want to be a role model, well, accountability, culpability, that flows with it. If you're, not, if you're willing to duck and weave and hide, even in the face of what is perceived to be insurmountable evidence. Again, if he's innocent, that's entirely different. But if he's guilty and he knows he's guilty, and it's not a lifetime ban we're talking about, I think you accept the punishment. I think you stand up and acknowledge what you did wrong. Uh, you make sure the cameras are rolling when you express your contrition. Because ultimately, years from now, those two lovely, wonderful daughters of his that he brought up in that Sports Illustrated article are going to have a vision to attach to attach or look to when it comes to their father. And you don't want that visual to be provided by others. You want it to be provided by daddy. Even if he's wrong, you want to see your daddy standing up and saying, this is what I did, I'm sorry, as opposed to people like me, Skip, or the numerous number of pundits out there and commentators who are going to have something to say about it. Okay, but you say anti-Ryan Braun. Remember, Ryan Braun was the first one just to step right up and say, I, I did it. You got me. Uh, what kind of deal we can I get We don't know what here? he did. Well, but, but we That's do right. know that we he got busted. And he said, yeah, you caught me red-handed. Now, how do I get out of this the quickest, easiest way? I just, I just rat on this guy at Biogenesis. I say, yeah, he gave me the stuff. He's guilty. And then you disappear, and you start over next year to earn the rest of your up to $133 million left on your deal. Well, if we're talking about role model, now you've muddied this water. Because we did have, you weren't here on Friday, but we talked about Pete Rose, who, who says he's very close with A-Rod, but he was really tough on A-Rod, kind of putting A-Rod on his couch, saying, you know, what he should do is just fess up, stand up, face the music, face the cameras, face the, the crossfire of the media, and just say, you got me. I was wrong again. I did it a second time, and I apologize. And, and I take the full extent of MLB's punishment here. That's what Pete Rose said to do. Well, that's one role model way to do it. There's also another way, for your daughter's sake, and I do not advocate this, but sometimes it works, and that is to flat out lie your way out of this situation. Either he's in complete and utter denial here, or he's just going to lie t until he can't lie anymore. Because we continue to read reports that the mountain of evidence against A-Rod is far beyond what they even had on Ryan Braun. But A-Rod, through uh, people you've talked to around him, Cornwell, his, his uh, chief advisor, his lawyer, they're just saying, he did nothing. He did nothing wrong. You've got it all wrong, MLB. He is completely innocent. We're going to fight it until we can't fight anymore. Well, that's one way. What if you can beat the system? I don't know. Can he? I doubt it. But what if he does? Well, the problem, well, again, I understand where you're coming from, and I, I'm, I'm not poo-pooing that. I'm simply saying, Skip, that we're talking about a visual here. 
and we addressed this subject by asking this question in light of what he had said in the Sports Illustrated article about being a role model and bringing up his two daughters. Without that, of course, you sit there and you fight to the finish. I'm not advocating that Alex Rodriguez watch the show, get up, and admit his guilt. I'm saying if you are going to do what Ryan Braun did and acknowledge that you're guilty to Major League Baseball, don't just acknowledge it to them and quietly and then skip out of the scene like a thief in the night okay. and disappear until your suspension is over. I'm saying if you're going to admit it, meaning you're going to acquiesce to MLB's demands that you acknowledge your guilt and avoid appealing and avoid arbitration and all of that and just go away. I'm saying if you're A-Rod and you're bringing up your daughters and you're talking about being a role model, don't just disappear. I'm saying stand up, look in front of the cameras to whomever you choose to talk to, the horde of media or whatever the case may be, and acknowledge exactly what you did and make sure that you are contrite and apologetic because let me tell you something, if you do that and your ultimate point is to be that inspiration and role model to your daughters, that's going to go a long way, a longer way with them, seeing you in that sympathetic state, dare I say, rather than disappearing, hiding, and having pundits all over the baseball world and the sports world speak for you or in this case, against you, chiding you and just giving derogatory and incendiary comments your way, and your children have to grow up listening to that without ever hearing a word from you in your own defense in a public forum. That's what I'm saying. Stephen A., if today, tomorrow, A-Rod comes forward and says, you got me, mm -hmm. I apologize, I did it, this would be his second mm -hmm. bust. This would be the second time he would have to face the world and say, I'm sorry, I use PEDs. This would be another time that he would have to answer to other charges that could include, that we continue to read about, reports saying that they, they have evidence that he obstructed the justice, the, in, the inter, interfered with the investigation. What if that comes to light? Then A-Rod could go down as the face of the steroid era. He, he could be the biggest loser ever in the steroid era. And even he beyond will. Yeah, even beyond Manny Ramirez, yeah. who was a two-time loser. But, but again, but again, you're talking about us. You're talking about the public at large. I'm saying that's different from the role model slash father of two daughters that he brought up. I'm saying for their sake, you don't want to leave yourself at the mercy of pundits alone mm -hmm. are, you know, elocuting Dang a position history. on you. You want your child to see you trying to defend yourself or being contrite and apologetic enough not to try.